Hello Year 6, this is Mrs Dawkins, head teacher at Crestwood Community School. I'm so sorry that we can't do all our normal transition arrangements for you. We would love nothing better for you to come in in July as normal and do some lessons before you start in September. But hey, we're not allowed to do that. So we've created this virtual classroom for you to guide you through what to expect at Crestwood. Remember, you are part of the Crestwood family now and we can't wait to see you in September. receptionist Mrs Hewitt then you'll come to this um, entrance which is the student reception. Sometimes if our matron's not in school Mrs Hewitt will do your medical needs. At Crestwood we pride ourselves on pastoral support. At Shakespeare you have Mr Yang and Mrs Sharp. They're amazing people who are really kind and understanding and they're there to help you with anything that you need. This is the school canteen. Come in here if you want a hot meal or our salad bar. Also on offer here are things like jacket potatoes and pasta pots. All of the sandwiches are served out of the present. There are different designated queues. At Crestwood for our school meals we use cashless catering. That means all you need is your fingertip. Your parents or carers can put money on your account in advance and then you can come into school and if you put your finger on the machine it will tell you how much money you have to spend. You can also use this in the canteen when you're purchasing your goods. If you wish to bring cash in to top up your account, you can also do it at this machine. We let you go wherever you want to go and there are lots of areas where you can sit and eat nicely. An example of that is this area here. So children can get something from the canteen and then they can bring it out here and they can eat their lunch as long as the weather permits. What you'll find all around the school are signs like these and they direct you to the classrooms. So for example, if you have Spanish or French, you would go upstairs into the languages block and that's where you'll have your languages lessons. You don't enter the classrooms until the teacher asks you to, so you would line up outside the classroom sensibly and wait to be invited in. There is the extension block and in here is maths and history. In our secondary school you get to do lots of practical subjects, one of those is science. Science at Crestwood is amazing. Each project is based around something you might enjoy. So for example, one of the projects is based around dinosaurs and Jurassic World. This room is Mr Neil's room. It's very, very quirky. All of the classrooms are fully accessible either from the Crescent or round the back of the school. Your teacher will tell you whether to go to the back door entrance or the front door entrance and that's where you must queue up and wait to be invited into your classroom. In the Crescent area you'll find that there are small alcoves and off of these will be classrooms but also a situated toilets. Break times and lunch times you can come outside and we've got loads of facilities. In PE lessons you'll use the AstroTurf pitch but there's also next to it a junior school pitch and in the summer we let you go on there to play football. This is the sports hall. Uh, at the moment this is set out as a classroom whilst we're getting our year 10s back into school. 
but this will be um, where you have assemblies, where we have whole school assemblies, but also where you'll do PE. These are the PE changing rooms. When you have PE, we want you to bring your PE kit into school and then this is where you'll get changed before the lesson. These changing rooms are locked whilst you're in your lesson, so things should be safe and secure. But we ask you not to leave any valuables in here. This is the drama studio. You will have your drama lessons within this room and sometimes you may do some PE lessons. This room is also used for year group assemblies. Do at Presswood is design and technology. This is one of our rooms. In here, you work with wood, metals, and plastics. This room is textiles, and in here, you'll learn how to use one of these, which is a sewing machine. What you'll notice is that all the sewing machines have different names. This is food technology. You will get the opportunity to do some cooking in year seven. Um, it's just learning about food and nutrition, but it's also about practical cookery skills as well. Now you might not do it the first time that you join the school, but throughout some point in year seven, you will be doing food technology. So this room is G14. You must put your bikes in the designated bike shed here. This is locked all day, but you will still need a padlock to keep your bike secure.